Hey everybody, it is Deanna with toolsofenergyprotection.com, your energy shift expert and Akashic Records advisor. How's everybody doing? It is November 5th of 2022. I'm going to wait just a minute for everybody to get on. It's Saturday afternoon and where I'm at, it is a gorgeous fall, well actually winter day I suppose. And um, I'm coming on today to help out a little bit. There's been so many people reaching out and saying, hey, you know, I could really use some help. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on in my life. And so I'm going to come on and do an Akashic Records reading to see where we're at today. And so uh, for those of you that have been waiting for me to come on and you're like, oh, where's she at? Oh, more technical issues. I worked with my tech guy, then I got my... <laughs> Got it straightened out so I could do a Facebook Live and try to get on. It just went crazy. So mwah, big hugs and kisses. I am an energy shift expert, an Akashic Records expert, and a medium. But when it comes to technical stuff, ah! <laughs> anyway, so how's everybody doing? Can you give me some thumbs up and tell me that, that how you're doing today? And let me know if you have any questions. And um, oops, looks like my it looks like my cards are already reading themselves today because two of them dropped. So that tells me we've already got a reading going on today without me being uh, absolutely involved. So um, let's see what we've got here. Hello to Tanya. Hello, darling. I am so glad that you're with me today. And uh, good morning, Becky. Nice to see you. Looks like our Instagram people are a little bit asleep over here. Hey, Instagram folks, if you're there, give me a thumbs up or a shout out. Uh, you know, if you have a question, put it in the questions um, and we'll answer them. And uh, hi, Amelia. Good to see you. And for those of you that are watching the recording, I know it takes a little bit to get these things uh, flowing, you know. Um, so if you want to just fast forward a little bit, you can. Uh, this is where we come on, say hello to everybody, send out love and hugs to everybody, you know, and all that kind of thing. And good morning, Carol. Good to see you. And let's see here. Okay, looks like our Instagram audience is starting to populate. Maybe they'll put me a question out. So what I'm going to do today, uh, apparently the cards are reading themselves today, is I'm going to do an Akashic Records reading for where we currently are in time and space. As you know, so many of us are getting ready for the holidays. You may be already planning. You're inviting people. You may be invited. You might be alone. You might be okay with being alone. And you might be sad because nobody's asking you, you know, to do anything. All kinds of emotions all over the place and so every thought feeling and emotion feeds into the collective consciousness and whatever emotion you have here that hasn't been resolved from a past life that's coming up is going to draw in that energy to you and so if you're having challenges and you're struggling my question is why would you want to have that icky you know ness come to you and so by looking at the record seeing what's happening and being able to recognize it in your mind and go okay that's what's going on and not claiming it that's the idea as a highly sensitive person an empath or a star seed the desired outcome is to radiate that love out to the rest of the world and not pick up on their their icky stuff right can I get a thumbs up, a heart, if, if you're with me on that? You know, there's so much icky stuff going on in the world and, you know, just a lot of, uh, you know, fighting and going on and there's elections coming up and there's mudslinging and, you know, it's a lot to take in and process. So if you're feeling that, you know, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that, that you're like, I am so right there with you. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and shuffle the cards, even though the cards seem to be shuffling themselves. And I'm going to start out by doing an Akashic Record reading uh, for the current uh, state of the world. Uh, then I'm going to do a little reading for some of us starseeds and empaths to see where we're at. And uh, I have been thinking about the, you know, the holidays coming up. And I've been thinking about that, you know, if you are into it, the big stuffed turkey. And I've been thinking about, you know, the, the decorations. And sometimes we have little, you know, balls on the Christmas tree ornaments, you know, and the presents. And I thought to myself... What is the best gift that I can give to all of you? What can I give from my heart to your heart to help you out so that you can have a fantastic holiday season, whether you're staying home alone, you know, with a good book and in front of the fireplace or your, you know, movies 
or whether you're going to be traveling with friends and family, you know, how can I help you to be more heart-centered? How can I help you to embrace yourself in love? And so I know there's quite a few of you that are, you know, have been desiring to get a time with me, and I'm thinking, 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 and I came up with a wonderful way for you all to get what you need and still fit it in that budget of yours that's coming up for the holidays. So um, I am going to be putting out later today to everybody on my emailing list my new special. And it is going to take um, a big, huge expense and put it down very small. And it's going to be like, you know, putting balls on the Christmas tree or it's going to be like extra stuffing for that, you know, that turkey if that's what you do or if you're vegan. Um, so basically you're looking at a discount of about 40% from the normal pricing. And so what I will send the link for that out to my email list. So if you're not on the email list yet, and I usually only send out about an email a week, so don't worry, I won't be like some of those department stores that send you 10,000 in a day. Um, then on Instagram, go to my bio, the link's there, click on it, and you'll get yourself onto the list. If you're here in Facebook, I put the link up here above. You just click on that, and it'll take you over and get you signed up for the emailing list. If you can't find out how to do that, um, that's going to be the instant way, so you all can have it in your inbox today. Uh, go over to toolsofenergyprotection.com and click on contact, and I'll be getting to those emails um, later, uh, like Monday. So if you want to get in instantly, click up here or on Instagram, go over to the bio. Anyway, here we go. Without further ado, let's do a reading. Oh, hello. There's Lee. Lee, good morning. And Carol, if I didn't say good morning to you, good morning to you. And Chaos Makes the Muse. I love that name. Good morning to you. All right. So first I'm going to do an Akashic Records reading for the, the planet. I know I did one uh, at the beginning of the month, but so many things are changing so quickly, as you know. Then I'm going to do one for star seeds, empaths, highly sensitive people. And then I'm going to take... Um, uh, request for reading. So if you have a request for reading, you have a question to ask, then go ahead and put it down here uh, in the link over here on Instagram. I think there's a place you can put a question and I'm going to wave hi. Um, it looks like HW999. Hello. I think that is such an awesome name because the secret to the universe is 306090. <laughs> so uh, glad that you joined in. Okay. So Apparently, when I was shuffling the cards, the cards decided already to give me a reading for where we are right now in space and time, which is November the 5th, 2022. All right, the first that came up, the thing is called Intricacies and Industry. Okay, that's the first Akashic Record card. Oops, sorry, let's get over here on Instagram. That came up. That came up. And so that's, I asked, you know, them to give me information, the guides about where we are right now. And Intricacies and Industry basically means that it's the little tiny moving parts that make everything go. So intricacies are the little tiny things and the industry is what's produced. This is perfect. So the intricate relationship right now is in your heart. It's in your heart. And you know that when you get into your mind, and you feel a lot of stress and anxiety, that's because your mind is trying to process things so quickly and find out where's the danger. So how many of you have gone into fight or flight recently because of all the anxiety that's going on? How many of you out there, thumbs up, hearts, smiley faces, angry faces, you know, whatever you got. Because what I'm finding is that because we were in that COVID for two years, now we've come out of it. Now we're back into the election season and this and that, you know, a lot of people are in that fight or flight 97% of their day if they're not sleeping and then they don't sleep well. Can I get a hand, a thumbs up that you see this, feel this, know this? And there is a better way. There is good. I've got hearts over here. The, the better way. There's a totally better way to live. So there's several different levels and layers of our beingness, as you know. You know, it's not just one thing. <laughs> and what's being asked of us right now in this universe as empaths, starseeds, highly sensitive people, is to elevate our consciousness. How many of you can elevate your consciousness when you're stuck in here with anxiety? How many? I can't. So last week for me, I had... So many things that were pulling my attention. So many things that caused me to go into flight or fright or flight. 
right? I, I was in flight or fright last week because there were things coming at me I didn't know how to deal with. I didn't know what the outcomes were going to be. And I wanted to know because I want to feel more secure. And then I realized where I was at. I'm like, well, duh, you're never going to know the outcome. This is a process that we're learning. So I released the anxiety. I went into my heart and my mind and my heart became one. That's the secret. So my mind was saying, here's all this danger that's coming. And my heart was reacting and it was going blah, 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 you know, 90 to nothing because the physical body was ready to move forward. So our physical bodies are created that if we see danger, we get our heart pumping and the adrenaline and everything comes out so we can fight or we can run. Yes? Thumbs up, smiley faces. Are you relating to this? Because this is what's going on in the world. And I pulled up this card. You know, I was going to tell you all something else and not even share that, you know, that I'd gone into panic attack last week. It seems like, though, it seems like this is what the universe is desiring for me to tell you. So when you're into that frantic situation and all that stuff is going on, you center your heart and your mind. And another layer of that as sensitive are all these Akashic records that are coming in to be cleared now from universes and Googles of universes. Yes, I said Google of universes. And we have access to those. Two Mays ago, uh, my guides, you know, said you can access more Akashic records than ever. And that's because where we are in space and time is the time to be enlightened, the time to move forward, the time to transform so we can go to a newer way of life. And not everybody's going, ladies and gentlemen, just those that are working on themselves. So anyway, <laughs> the bad news, if you will. So that's where it's at. Pay attention to intricacies. Pay attention to your thoughts. What are your thoughts? And if you're going all over the place, still your mind and come into your heart space, then you can move forward because once you've got this heart pumping and it's telling the brain, let's go, we're ready to fight, we're ready to flight, and the brain does nothing but think about more things, you will have a hard time thinking. And it, it just, it's, it works against itself. Capiche? Okay, let's move on. So now this is very interesting. So these cards fell out when I was getting ready to do the reading uh, for the planet. So the very next uh, card that I have is called the scribe. Okay, the scribe. So what does that mean? Well, the scribe, um, oh, my guides are telling me, hang on. Okay, so my guides are telling me that we have all these Akashic records coming in to be cleared. We're giving, being given a perfect world scene in order to work through these things. And our angels and our guides and the Lady of Akasha is taking notes on what we're doing and so that we can have our wisdom recorded. So let's throw away the unbalanced energy of our own universe, the karma, and allow them to just write down that we are learning. And we are learning easily and we are learning effortlessly. And that, that's, they're pointing out that the number 12 on this card, which would be three uh, if you add it. And that's the beginning of the 30, 60, 90 in the understanding, which only lifts us up higher. All right. Uh, let's see here. Um, I am going to uh, look at the next card here. Uh, so for the, the again, for the planet, uh, the energies that are going on, it, it seems to be talking more about us that are sensitive, awake, and aware. Uh, the next one is Archangel Gabriel. So this is a reminder to all of us that we are never alone. We're always supported. We're always loved. Ask for help. Be open to the help. Receive the help. Move forward. All right. And the very last one is the Buddha. We got this earlier. So this is still, this is still uh, very prominent. The Buddha prepares. So are you connecting with your heart? Are you connecting and centering your heart and understanding that that's how we connect to God's spirit or source? The brain guides, the heart connects. Okay. So. I'm going to shuffle the cards and uh, I'm going to go ahead and ask for um, a reading very quickly uh, for 
the star seeds. And again, I'd like for you to remember that I came up with this most amazing, juicy offer to help you all to give you more service and for you all to save some money. So uh, off of um, a regular session, I'm, I'm putting out to my emailing list, only the people on my emailing list, a very special offer, deep, deep, deep dish, deeper than I've ever done before. So for those of you on Instagram, click over, click up here to my name, go over to uh, the bio, and there's a link to get on the emailing list, you know, so that you can get this offer. I'm going to be sending it out later today, so make sure you're on it. And um, then what will happen is it's uh, like almost a 40% savings on a normal session. And the reason for that is so you all can get the help you need at a price you can afford, okay? That's what I'm doing just to give as much love as I can. All right. Um, let's see. Let's go. And then I'm going to answer you all's questions. Okay, my guides are telling me I need a different set of cards to talk about star seeds, empaths, highly sensitive people uh, for the reading for them. If you are joining us now, make sure you hit the recording and go back uh, roughly about seven minutes before because that's when we were talking about um, uh, the collective consciousness and what the messages are. Okay, this is amazing. So uh, my guide said um, to pull the card, only one card for you all, star seeds, empaths, highly sensitive people to let you know what's happening and where you are. So take what we just said and add this. It says, be the love you wish to receive. Be the love you wish to receive. So in order, and you can see the heart is open, right? This is representative of the auric field up here. And then the hands of light are healing. So for star seeds, empaths, highly sensitive people, if you are not already awake, aware, and alert that you have a different mission on this planet, wake the schmeg up, okay? Because right now what's happening is the world is seeming to fold in on us. Our, our lives are going so quickly. Time is actually speeding up. There really is not 24 hours in a day in linear time anymore. It's about 17. And that's why we think time is speeding up because our clocks show a 24 hour sequence. The universe is 17 right now, our world, and it's having to smoosh into that. And so more people are like, ah, because I can't get as much done. And that's more anxiety. And you disconnect from the head and the heart and your world goes to poop in a handbasket. Can I get an amen, a thumbs up, a, a frowny face, something? Because this is where it's at, people. And so this reminder to you today is to be in your heart space. And if I hear from you, yeah, Deanna, but my love life isn't working. I'm having trouble with my job. My health is failing. Then get on to my emailing list and take advantage of the special. Because what's going to happen with this is you'll connect with me and it'll be, you know, attainable financially and you're going to see the benefit of taking the weight off of these Akashic records of all these other things because we've got this life. We've got this reality we're working in. Time has been compressed. And now your divine self is pouring in all these Akashic records so that you can clear them more quickly because it's easier when things are faster. Instant gratification, okay? Here's the comedy for today. Your soul is connected to your divine self. Your divine self is feeding in more Akashic records to be cleared. Because time is compressed. And when you have instant gratification, that means you get it instantly. So your divine self is like, woohoo, we can get this done. And it won't take millions of years. And this brain is like overwhelmed. <laughs> so your divine self is wanting the instant gratification. <laughs> And your human mind is like, not so much. <laughs> so the only way to do that, the only way to be at one with that is to open your heart, step into your beautiful divine self, your healing power as a sensitive empath, highly sensitive person. We're here to raise the elevation of the earth. We're here to help heal the planet. Whether you come on publicly like I do or whether you just do it at home, smile at somebody in the grocery store, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that you're doing the work. And if you've got so much unbalanced energy, 
you can't do the work. Come on, you can't, you know? I mean, it's like dragging, you know, I see these guys that put a hundred pounds of something, you know, uh, all this concrete, you know, they're the, the muscle men. And then they take these chains and they try to walk forward and see how far they can drag something before they're exhausted. Well, that's what's happening to a lot of you is you're dragging all this unbalanced karma along and you can't do your job and you're like, what the hell, right? So here's your opportunity, golden today, in the bio over here on Instagram, go click on the link, get on the emailing address and see what the special is. If you don't like it, go away, okay? Over here on Facebook, uh, up here in the link, I put it so you guys can go get on it and gals can go get on it quickly. Like I said, join the emailing list. If you don't like it, unsubscribe. It's okay with me. I love each and every one of you. And from the bottom of my heart, I'm doing the best I can to serve as many of you as fast as I can. Because again, our time is shorter than before. All right. All right. Let's get on to some free readings. Woohoo! Can I get an amen? Can I get a hearts up? Let's go. Let's get the energy up in this room. I can feel all of you. You know that. I feel and sense energy. I can feel that there's one person that's like laying in their bed or on their couch just kind of going, ah, you know. All right, come on, get up, get your heart rate moving. Let's go. All right, here we go. Free readings. <clears throat> All right, shuffling the cards. First person. Okay. Um, I, I don't really know how to pronounce the name, but it comes across on Instagram as hwheel999. I'm sure there's something funny about it, um, but I'm not catching, you know, maybe it's the house wheel or something. All right. says, uh, will my finances improve? Okay. I'm starting to feel a frequency coming from you. Uh, what I'm hearing, I know this is going to sound funny, is there's an imbalance in your bank account. So I'm going to suggest that you go back and balance, you know, run your statements from your account and go um, uh, justify, you know, make sure it, it matches up because there's something not right uh, between like a credit card and your bank statement. Okay, so go pull both of those things and sit down and look through it if you can't get some help. Um, <laughs> funny, the card for you uh, over here is balance. Okay, will my finances improve and I get balance and, the, and that's funny. That's the card and the first thing I got from your guides is to, to look at your bank statement again and, and check every single thing to make sure that you withdrew the money, uh, you added the money, um, you made payments and then there's something on a credit card statement and it just doesn't balance and that's where you're having your trouble here is balance. Okay, I'm going to close that one out go on to the next one. Thank you so much for your question. Um, if you're on Instagram and you'd like to have a free uh, question answer, go ahead and put it down here below. And same here for Facebook. All right, Facebook, my darlings. Let me see what's up here. Um, okay, uh, Eunice, good to see you. Big hugs and kisses. Good to meet you. Uh, and Lee says, oh, she's got two D names uh, for some uh, people. And it just says Dale or Dawn. Um, I'm feeling a lot of tingling sensation on the left side of my body, which is a feminine side, um, which basically tells me your intuition is right. And you already know the answer to that. However, this is a free reading. Um, so what I'm getting, uh, the first card is called the garden, the garden. So what that means, Lee, is that you are growing your own emotional garden. So whichever way you go, uh, each person has a different attribute. So if you plant um, bulbs, you know, you might get an iris, you might get a tulip. So it depends on what you're planting <clears throat> as to what you're going to receive. So that's the answer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close that out and see who else that is asking a question. Just go ahead and post them below. And the next one is from KJ. Oh, hang on a second. My screen is, okay, uh, sure. So KJ, uh, hey, so you're a newbie. All right, if you're still with me, give me a thumbs up, my darling. I hope you enjoy it. I do, come on, try to share information about the world and the planet and uh, give you all a little bit of a boost on your weekend. And so, uh, KJ, I'm going to uh, 
see what we can go. She, you would love for me to connect, so I'm going to connect. So KJ, when I connect to you, the first thing that I feel uh, is your body. So I would really pay attention to your body, uh, uh, KJ. Um, there's something called alkaline. You can um, look it up on the internet to uh, alkaline foods to keep your body in alkaline pH as opposed to uh, acidic. And that's what I'm hearing from you, that you're, you're wondering about what's going on for your body. Maybe you don't have as much energy. Um, you know, you're, you're feeling tired or exhausted, you know, something. So look at that first, the alkaline and pH in your body. And like I said, you can get testing strips for it. Uh, you can find out what foods, lots of information on the internet. Go pull that. Um, uh, just a second. Your, your guides are saying that you're having some gut issues. So that means either you're not digesting your food well, so your body doesn't have the energy it needs, um, or your gut, in, yeah, your gut instinct is also off. And that's the direct relationship between your spiritual self and your physical self. And um, uh, KJ, I did ask for one additional one, and I got gentleness is the path of peace. So love you. Be more gentle with yourself, okay? And go ahead and, and get the link up here and get on my emailing list so you can see what the special is and if you want to take advantage of it because I don't deep dish, you know, 40% off very often. And it's, you know, what you're going to be getting is way more valuable than like a week week's worth of coffee and a drive through Sorry to the drive through places that I drive through when I get my coffee. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and close that out. All right, the next one says, um, next question. Okay, just a moment here. Um, okay, so over here, hwell999 on Instagram. Um, I see that you have several questions, so I'm going to highly recommend that you click the link in the bio, go get yourself on my emailing list, and look for the special in there that is coming out that only the people on the email list can take advantage of. And since you have so many questions, I know that getting together would be so awesome so we can get to each and every one of them. All right, coming back over here to Facebook. Uh, the next question that we have here is from Tanya. I have divorce court this week coming up. Any insight is appreciated. Thank you, Tanya. Uh, Tanya, I'm shuffling the cards and I was gonna pull one. Um, what I'm hearing is cover yourself. I'm hearing that you've been in this marriage six times before. So maybe not this life, but another life. But I just keep hearing tuck and duck, cover yourself. So there may be something that he is going to attempt to do. Um, so if you have evidence for it or evidence against it, you know, just make sure that you have everything you need in, in the courtroom. Um, I know that there's legal things where you have to submit so many things before. So, uh, but bring it with you because it can be introduced uh, later um, during that session of the court. So, and just so you know, not lawyer. <laughs> I know you all know that. So anyway, love you bunches. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. Thank you, Tanya. You're so welcome. Oh, Carol, good morning, darling. Okay. Uh, the next one is, um, let's see here. And uh, Willow has joined us. Good morning, Willow. Good to see you. Very good to see you. All right. And uh, the next question I have is Diana. Diana, if you're still there, give me a thumbs up. Uh, let's see here. And Diana, let's see here. Okay, so, oh good, thank you for the hearts. Okay, so Diana says, the financial is me, unknown person using my bank account, facing unbelievable with bank account. I am so sorry, Diana. We will ask for an angel of light to be with you so that when the people are looking through your bank account, they will see the truth, the love, and the light, and whoever the perpetrator is, it'll go right back to them very easily. No worries there. Um, so it sounds like more than one of you is having some situations uh, with the financial. And I find oftentimes when I do group readings, uh, especially with mediumship, I will get messages that more than one in person identifies with that's a normal part of this process. 
So Diana, thank you for stepping out and saying you identify with it. I'm getting cold chills in my legs, which means there uh, it is there is traction. And again, just ask to, that the people will see the truth, the love, and the light. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep moving along here. Athena, uh, great to have you aboard. How you doing, Athena? Uh, give me a thumbs up or a smiley face if you will still aboard. Um, and Athena, I'm going to connect into you. Okay, so Athena says, anything on career, please? Okay, just a moment. All right, so Athena, uh, you ask, is there anything, um, uh, you're asking me if uh, you can, um, yeah, you're still there, cool, thank you. And you're, you're asking me, hang on a second, I'm getting a couple different messages for you. Hold on, Athena. Okay. So, Athena, I'm feeling like you wanted to know about your career. Uh, there's so many messages coming in. Uh, that's a big subject. I would love to unpack that for you. I will give you a, an answer right now, but I'd love to unpack that for you more, Athena, on the job. So please, please, please go up here to the link. Get on my emailing list if you aren't already. So when I send out that juicy special, you can grab right on it um, because there, there's so much to unpack. That's why I had to take a breath because when I tapped into you, it's just like almost overwhelming. Um, and the card that I'm getting is setting up your course. So this is Athena's card is setting up your course. Okay. Setting up your course. So uh, what that means is, um, uh, oof, what that means is you have so many things, Athena, that, that are coming to you. You're, you really will have to set your course. You've got 16 different past lives that are coming into this life. Like I was talking about earlier, we have so many things that we're clearing right now in these lifetimes. That's why when you work with me, we can line all those up and clear that out. So you've got energy. You can imagine being in this life and having um, all this energy, if you will, stacked up on you from all these other lifetimes. And you're like, what the heck? You know, Why am I having to work so hard in this life? Why is everything such a struggle? And one of the things could be that you have all this past life energy that's piled up. And so what we do is we go in and access those records and then we find out the wisdom from those records. And then we, we balance out the karmic energy and people are like, well, how can you balance karma? It can be done. If it couldn't be done, God's spirit or source wouldn't give me the job. And people tell me they feel lighter. You know, they feel like they can face life again. Sometimes they have instant body changes in their, in their human bodies. So, you know, releasing that energy from your energy field and from your past lives is possible, okay? Whether you were the perpetrator or whether you were the one perpetrated upon, you can clear it and forgive it and release it and your soul will feel so much lighter. And so then, you know, let's say that this is your pile of karmic energy, you know, and we clear that much of it out and that's, this is all that's left, you know, like three different cards are all that's left and that's all you have to deal with in this life to secure what you've learned from the records. So I hope that makes sense to you. If not, go to toolsofenergyprotection.com, click on comments or contact and you can write in there if it doesn't make sense to you and we can talk about it because it is so important right now that people understand what it means, where our planet is now, why they're feeling so much pressure on them from the outside world, why they feel like they have this mission they have to do, and the confusion. There should not be confusion. No, no, no. And that's one of the reasons that God's Spirit or Source put me on this planet was to help dispel confusion. That's my job. So please contact me and um, we'll do a Zoom meeting if you want one-on-one -on -one just like this. We can do the phone if you like. Um, or come see me in Denver, Colorado in person. But let's get it moving because the faster you get moving, the faster your life's gonna change, the more joy and happiness is you're, you're going to experience. I know this to be true. And what about the holidays coming up? You've got to be more centered and more balanced because if you're already in anxiety up to here and now you have to deal with relatives you don't like, 
or maybe there's unresolved energies between you and them and you're here and it goes up to here, you're going to just experience all kinds of things. Like for myself, when I get up to here, I will pass out. Literally pass out. I did this years ago when stress, 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 and I couldn't understand what was going on in my world. And right, I passed out. And when I came back, God's spirit or source began to work with me. And it's like, you know, I need you on my team. I don't want you passing out anymore. Let's clear some records. And that's how I learned to clear Akashic records. And now I'm like, woohoo, all these years later, right? All these years later. That's why you see me glow. That's why you see me happy. Because I've been there, done that. I know what it feels like. And I can show you the way out. I can show you the way out. I can be that light in the dark room that you're in and show you the way out. So if you want to see how that works, if you're not already on the emailing list, get on. You can always get off, okay? So you can just see what the special is and let your heart talk to you. Let your guides talk to you and say, yes, this is what you need. Yes, this is your next step forward. So you can feel happier. Who doesn't want to feel happier? Who doesn't want to feel more at peace? And especially during the holidays. There's so much pressure on us to perform. There's so many expectations. And that's just a lot more to navigate with. And that's not something we want to do. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the least amount of navigation possible, please. Anyways, big hugs and kisses. All right, let me take another question. Um, it says, um, okay, so we already talked to Athena. Uh, okay. Um, so Athena, you got lots of stuff coming up. Reach out to me, please. Uh, let's see here. You're welcome, Diana. Um, let's see. And then I've got Natalie. Can you tell me anything about my soul family at the moment? Um, Natalie. So Natalie, you've got five different soul members that are all working on the same thing right now. So what you're going to see with your soul family members, uh, Natalie, is the ones that you know in this life. And girl, I am getting goose pimples. I don't know if the camera can catch that. But anytime I get goose pimples, I know we're spot on the money. Because when I'm resonating with the center of something, the exact center, that's what happens. So Natalie, go up here <laughs> for you in the bio over here and get on that emailing list so you can get my juicy offer because I'm taking the prices that are normally here and I'm bringing them down here so you all so they're reachable for you all okay a lot of you have never worked with me you don't know me you don't you know you get on here and you see me on these lives and you're like woohoo you know but you don't know me so I'm giving you an extended opportunity a super juicy extended opportunity to meet me and work with me for the first time and you know, see that see the value for yourself. Okay, this is about you all, not me. This is about you being able to claim your freedom, to know the path out, and to have the love and the support that you need as a starseed empath or highly sensitive person, or just maybe an average person that's looking for help. And I worked with a client the other day that came in, and he's a beautiful starseed. And he's working with his gifts and he couldn't quite get it and he didn't quite know what was happening. And when we worked together, we were able to go back through space and time into his Akashic records. And we were able to find what it was that was bubbling up in that past life that was affecting us here and now and stopping him from being able to be the beautiful healing light that he is and that he came here to be. And there was something holding him back. And once we found that and we cleared the energy around it and he could connect with it into the here and now, he made the connection. He was a healer in a past life, just beautiful. And he's a healer in this life, but some things happened here that weren't too happy. So that part of him literally was just not wanting to come forward. And so once we cleared the energy around that, that vibration of being a healer without constraint or constriction, because a lot of us, a lot of us have been here, done that before. We've had our guts spilled. We've been tied up. We've been burnt. 
We've been shunned. We've been starved to death. We've been burnt to death because we are healers. And we came on this planet with this light. And we don't understand why people don't want to heal or they hate us. You know, we're the person like with the red cross on our helmets. And during World War II, believe it or not, these guys that were there to help the soldiers that were the medics, they would wear these big red crosses so that their fellow soldiers could see them and know when they needed help. That's the person that would have the help with the big red cross on their head. And so the enemy knew that. And the enemy would look for the people with the red crosses on their head and they would take them out with snipers first, first. So that's maybe the way you're feeling right now. You know you're here. You know you're a light. And you know you need to be doing some work, but you're afraid that if you bring your divine self out, there's going to be that little red cross on your head and the evil forces, the demonic forces, the dark forces are going to come and get you. And it's possible. I know that from being on a public platform every night, every day, keeping my energy field clean because there's people that get on here and they watch this and they send me bad juju. They don't want the light to shine. They want to squash it because they have an agenda. And being of the love and the light and not in fear and not in anxiety and not in phobia is not part of their agenda. Do you understand? Please give me a thumbs up, a hearts up, something. Let me know this resonates with you. It's such an important message that I took time out of my personal life on Saturday to come and give you this message. Please let me know it resonates. And if, it, if you think I'm full of shit, then mark it that way. Okay? I see. Thank you for the love. You know, thank you for the hearts. Thank you. Because if you're hearing this message, you are a star seed. You are an empath. You are a highly sensitive person. And you are the light. You're the light. Wake up. Come get some help. And I cry tears of joy because I got this job. I'm the person who gets to come and tell you that there's light. That's why I have tears because it's so beautiful. Every person that reaches out to me, every person that raises their hand and they say me and they get the help they need. Like this young man yesterday, he is now on fire with his healing energy. And he's just spreading it everywhere just, just so fast. And Spirit is bringing people to him left and right. And the reason for that was because he needed to have that cork taken off the top, you know, boop. And I was given that opportunity by Spirit to help him. And I did. And there he goes. <laughs> and I imagine there's some of you just like that that you feel held back by your job situation. Maybe you feel held back by your family situation. The darkness is mounting in my life, I'm gonna tell you. I got so many things on so many different fronts that I'm dealing with simultaneously that if I let them would emotionally destroy me, take my power away, strip me of all my energy, and then I couldn't come and serve you all. So I, was assigned to find the light in the midst of chaos. And it has been right here in my life the last several months. Right here. And I'm not talking demons, literal, frigative. I'm talking about situations in my life that are right here that want to suck my energy literally out of me so that I can't do this job. And if I fight it, and fight it and fight it and say, go away, I've got other things to do. Guess what happens? I become drained. How many of you feel drained right now because of your life circumstances? How many of you? Okay, I'm not seeing any hearts, so it must just be me. <laughs> no, wait, here comes a few. Okay. <laughs> so, 
your life circumstances may just seem overwhelming. Please don't fight them. Hear me. Do not fight them. It will wear you out. Instead, find your center, your heart center and your mind center. Oh, good. I'm getting some heart. You've got to find the heart and the mind center. These two places you have to find. Shut out the noise. You're not fighting it. You're not ignoring it. You're just shutting it out. And you're finding these two places. And when this connects like a big figure eight, then you will begin to radiate the light. And the circumstances around you will be apparent, but they won't be overwhelming. And you can look at them one at a time. Or maybe two at a time. And you can begin to work with them instead of feeling overwhelmed and in this position of fight, flight, or frozen. Because fight, flight, or frozen is not the work of God's spirit or source. That's the work of the ambiguous they. And that's where they want you. So are you going to surrender to them and go into that place of fear? Or are you going to reach out and get help, whether it's me a therapist, you know, a massage therapist, an acupuncturist, whoever you're reaching out to get help for, get some help. And so I have heard from several of you that said, you know what, my budget is really tight right now. If you're watching me in the United States, we're having this little thing called let's raise the cost of everything. Let's play that game. And everybody who almost made it is now going to come down here. And because of that, I knew a lot of you needed, desired the help, and you couldn't reach it. So today, I'm going to put out an email to my emailing list only. And I'm going to share this offer that is seriously about 40% off of a regular price. And I'm going to extend that to you so that you can get started and get some help and get rolling in the right direction, come out of this war zone Take the red cross off the top of your head and go covert in shedding the light, okay? So if you're wanting to get on the email list, go to the bio over here on Instagram, Facebook, up in here, there'll be a little link. If it's not clear, I'll put it down here later. If you're seeing this and you don't, you're just seeing the video, you're like, there's no links, there's no place to go, then go to Tools of Energy Protection. Get that Tools of Energy Protection, right? Dot com. Click on contact, click on schedule. You'll have to click on contact because you won't be on my emailing list to get the special and then you'll have to get on that. Um, okay, my guides are telling me that's enough. There's something else they, they're, hang on, they're giving me another message. Okay. They're telling me that the alignment of the planets, um, especially last night, is shifting the temporal reality. So it's shifting the time, temporal reality, timelines. They're, they're saying that everybody's at a crossroad and they have until the 15th of November to shift their consciousness to head in the right direction. That They're telling me there'll be other places to shift, but this is one of the crossroads. So 15th of November. So we're here, and by the 15th of November, um, there will only be a single path for you, no matter where you are on your journey, okay? All right, let me take a look um, at uh, what we've got here. Okay, so um, for those of you that are on here on my emailing list already, um, I will send out uh, an email today. Just keep it in mind. It won't be instantaneous because I do have some other obligations, and so I'll make sure it goes out by the end of today. Just check your emails, check your spam, check your promotions if you don't get it. If you're not on the emailing list, right up here, right up here on Facebook, there's a link in the description. And then I can put another one down here in the comments. Over here, click uh, click in the bio. Now I do have one person here who is saying they would like to do an emergency reading today. Um, so go ahead and send me a message. 
um, after the broadcast, just send me a message here in Instagram so that I know how to reach out to you, okay? And I know there were a lot of other questions. I love you all. There's only so much time that I can share with you because I have so many other people to go love and hug. And, you know, you all are important. And I love each and every one of you. And I have some other important people in my life that I would like to be with today, loving and hugging, you know, in my family and some close personal friends. So, um, you know, I, I hope you understand. If you're just getting in to the end of this, the recording will come up, go to the beginning of it, um, and then go into about five minutes, and that's where we start getting uh, juicy and discussing this. If you know anyone, 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 anyone that is struggling, please share the video. Please share the video. It costs you nothing. It costs them nothing. And tell them just go about five minutes because when she gets on, she's saying hello to everybody and then she'll get to the juice of the matter and share the video. Otherwise, I see people drop off after five minutes and I, and I get it. Short attention spans. Speaking of that, please remember that our divine selves are sending all the karma down to be balanced. And it has an attention span like this and it's expecting the human body to go really fast. And the human body's like, no, right? That's where we're at in time and space. So let's get that karma cleared quickly so the divine self can connect up to the head that can connect up to the heart and you all can get on with a beautiful holiday season going around with smiles on your face and people in the stores will be like all hurried and worried and you're like they're like what the heck is wrong with that person and you just keep smiling <laughs> and they come up to you and say what do you want i want some of it and you can tell them well there's this lady at tools of energy protection.com and i had a session with her and life is better <laughs> goodness when that happens i'll be booked three months out anyways big hug and kisses to all of you have a great fabulous and wonderful day and uh over here on instagram private message me and um i will see you soon